Today I'm going to be talking about the most memorable judge showcase that I've ever had where I was forced to do this showcase while I had a really bad injury. I'm Dizzy, a 12 time 13 world time world champion, a pioneer, a global b-boy activist, and you're watching the Dizzy Diary b-boy vlog! Many b-boys who are older, they hate doing judge showcases because when you're younger you have so much energy and you don't need to warm up and you can just go out there and just kill a judge showcase and destroy it and you have so much to prove. Older b-boys they already have a name, they've already proven themselves so we usually don't like doing judge showcases and the older you get it becomes harder for you to just go down and throw down whereas when you're young you know you have all this energy you're like yeah. I'm just gonna show my moves. I can't wait until everybody sees me. And just oh, and it especially gets even harder when you're sitting down all day and you're judging, and then you you don't get a chance to warm up. At R16 Philippines 2015, not only was I sitting down all day judging, but I was also helping to organize the event, and I was administrating the judging system, and it was pretty crazy. And on top of all of that, I had a freaking collarbone injury, where my collarbone was like really seizing up and felt like it was popping out of place. It was really messed up. I made a whole vlog about this injury. You could probably click somewhere over here. So I made it clear that I didn't want to do a judge showcase because, you know, my injury and I wasn't, and I was judging and all that kind of stuff. But the host at R16 Philippines, she always makes me do a showcase. It doesn't matter. As long as she's a host, she'll always be like, all right, we're going to call up this legendary Filipino b-boy. He's going to completely blow your mind. He is going to exceed your expectations he's gonna do stuff you've never seen before well at least that's how she kind of made it seem and feel oh i just ugh. so basically at the event she did the same thing got everyone hype and i was just like oh no and i got up and i felt like this was going to be absolutely the worst showcase that i'm ever going to do and i was also worried that i'm going to get injured as well i basically walked up onto the stage feeling awkward and terrified and not knowing what i was going to do and the only thing i did know what to do was to just kneel down and pray and i started saying god please save me and literally at that moment the beat came on and all i heard was save me somebody save me and boom i automatically felt this overwhelming spirit of love just flow right into my heart and I just got up and I just started dancing and at one point I made the sign of the cross while dancing and I pointed up and I said God save me and without thinking I literally went right down into my flying fish freeze on my elbow tip and I hit it but I literally felt a spasm happen right on my shoulder I got up and I was like what the heck is that and so I went back down to the ground and I felt the weight just boom my arms just give up right underneath me and at that split moment I thought about Jesus being crucified <laughs> so I was like screw this I'm just gonna keep going and I just went into my brand new set the rolling threads of death combo and I just remember killing this combo and going up right into my freeze I was thinking this is not gonna end well but blam I just hit the freeze I don't know how and I nailed it and the crowd went wild and usually after like a good showcase I'll get up and I'll bask in the the audience energy but I just quickly went back to doing work and you know feeling the pain and also the shock of what just happened it was pretty it was crazy that was probably one of my most memorable showcases that I've ever had in my career to somehow